Let's go to Matthew 5 and 44. To the left is the King James Version. To the right is the Expanded Bible. But I say unto you, love your enemies, bless them that curse you, do good to them that hate you, and pray for them which despitefully use you and persecute you. So what is it saying? You see, this is talking about loving your enemies. I know that this may sound easier said than done, but when you do these things, I'm telling you, there is so much power in this. The reason that, the reason why there is so much chaos in this world, because no one really, or few people, are showing their enemies love. You can preach to a person all day long, you can prophesy to a person all day long, but in the end, if you want that person to change, you have to show them love first. Does that make any sense? Love changes people. Not just preaching and prophesying and all that stuff there. Love. So it doesn't matter if you are a good teacher or if you are good at anything like that. You need to be good at loving people. A. Sometimes there are going to be some people, even when you love them and show them kindness, there are going to be some people who are still going to do their own thing. They still are not going to respect you in the way that they should. So, pretty much do the best that you can with that person. Sometimes you have to leave that person alone and there is nothing wrong with that because some people have have their mind made up to the point where they are just going to do bad things whether they know it is wrong or not. Actually, they do know that it is wrong. So there is nothing that you can do about that. All you can really do about that is pray for them. For instance, there is this person that I tried to help for quite a while, actually. And I saw that this person just wanted to keep on doing whatever they wanted to do. So what can I do? <clears throat> So I had to go on my way. And sometimes you may have to do that yourself. It really depends. So, so love your enemies. Do good to them even when they do bad to you. Yes, I know that it may be hard, of course. This stuff is not easy and pray for your enemies as well. Or you can do what I do. I give my enemies gifts. I really do. Or I may do something for them. Actually, <laughs> this may sound crazy, but I do more for my enemies than I do for people who are not my enemy. Does that make any sense? I treat my enemies more good than I treat people who never done me wrong. Because one thing, I don't want unforgiveness to set in my heart. I don't want to hate anyone. I don't want to go to hell for hating or having unforgiveness for anyone so many of the time I go out my way for my enemies then let me say this too 
when you show your enemies love, that is going to change them. And they may even come closer to God because of that. Because we are the body of Christ when you are living for him. So many of the time, it is going to take regular humans to get other humans to come to God. Yes, I know that God draws the people, but what I am trying to say, sometimes it is going to take the people who serve God to show other people how God really is. So a person may say, or a person who don't serve God may say, hey, this person is a Christian right here. And I see how he is acting and everything like that. So this Christianity stuff must be really real because I don't see anyone else acting in this way that this person is doing. So that may get that person to come and serve God by watching you, by seeing what you are doing. There are people who may be, or back in the past, they may have served God, but because they have been done wrong by certain church people, they may have stopped going to church or stopped serving God and stuff like that. But when you come, a person who really serves God, when they encounter you, you may be the person that may draw them back to God. I'm serious. So we are the body of Christ. So ministry is not only with teaching and preaching. Ministry is love. Sometimes people don't need your preaching and teaching. Sometimes people only need your love. Once you show them your love, that is what is going to get them hooked back up with Jesus Christ. Okay, God bless.